بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. What's remaining for this course are two subjects: the animation and the file input output. So today is gonna we are gonna finish reviewing the animation. Then we are gonna leave it after the quiz or midterm three. We're gonna leave the file input output. It's gonna be one or two lectures at the end, and then we can uh, use the remaining classes or use the remaining uh, lectures for uh, review. Uh, regarding the animation, we talked about the threads, uh, one way of doing animation. Now, the basic concept of a thread, what you need to know, I mean, the thread concept is very large. Uh, the only thing that you need to know is, uh, uh, Thread is like a, a sub process, a different process that can run in parallel to the main process. So you have, let's say this is the main process. Uh, so when you create a thread, it's gonna be a separate process. It's very similar to a sub process. We call it like, let's say thread. And whatever, whatever you can uh, do, here is going to be in parallel. So this will run, continue running, and this will also run at the same time. So it's going to be at the same time. OK, uh, same time. OK, what you need to know about the thread? Basically, uh, the start and the run. That's all what you need to do, uh, what, what you need to care about uh, uh, thread start and run. How do we do that? There are like you know a lot of other functions There's a the way there's a suspend destroy stop all these things again. We're gonna worry about the run We're gonna worry about their start and maybe we're gonna worry about sleep Because we need uh, sometimes to sleep if it is animation. We want to show the motion of the object Example of a thread Okay, uh, let's say that we have this class, which is called the animation, or ANN. Uh, it extends JFrame. In the JFrame, we have this constructor. We remember the constructor, we always have uh, set size and set visible. Now we're going to add two more sentences, which is uh, creation of a thread. We're going to create a thread. This is a move M, equal new move. Where is the move? This is the move class. It, ex it extends thread, it has the run method. That's all. It extends thread, it has the run method. But why do we need to do like, you know, why do we pass this? The reason we want to pass this because uh, we are going to call some functions in animation. We're going to call some function in animation. We're going to call some variables in animation. These variables are the X, which is a member variable of animation. We're going to call repaint, which is a method in animation. It, it, it was inherited from uh, one of the ancestors of JFrame or, or uh, the super classes of JFrame. Uh, so in order to access the paint and X, we need a pointer to this class. We, we need somebody to point. So we're going to point to this class by BTR. So we're going to point to the animation class by pointer. So how do we set this pointer? We set it in the creation or during the creation of the object. So when we create new move, we pass a pointer to this class here, this guy, to this object in this, and we pass it to here. And we save it in pointer, PTR. And then when we, we, when we want to call X, or when we call repaint, we use PTR. OK, it sounds very complex, complicated, OK? So let's try to see another better way of doing it. Let's skip the timer right now. OK, we're going to call the, okay, the inner class. OK, oh, we, we've taken the inner class before. You remember the inner class? OK, here, this is what we did. 
we did auxiliary class and we give a pointer this guy pointer uh, we give it pointer to the main class so this is exactly what we did uh, when we created uh, the subclass which is the auxiliary class or not subclass another class we uh, we pass a pointer here in this uh, way we don't pass it in the constructor we just pass it this way a dot when we create auxiliary class a equal new auxiliary class, we put the constructor here or we put the pointer here in the constructor or we just uh, separately say a dot pointer equal m and this is uh, you know m is this guy is this guy so this is, we are passing a pointer to Xeria. This is again a complicated thing. What we can do, we can do it much easier by using inner class. How do we do inner class? We put the whole auxiliary class inside, inside the main class. It's not separate, it's not outside, it's uh, within the main class. By doing this, the auxiliary class then have access to I immediately. And I is a member of a main class. So we don't use like the way we did before, pointer.i. We don't use pointer.i because now auxiliary class is an inner class, is an inner class to the main class. So all what we need to do like before, we have this auxiliary class is outside this auxiliary class is outside all what we we did we moved it to inside the class m okay now no actually we we moved it inside sorry the main class not class not class m okay because this is the main class class m is just main method it's just including the main method Okay, here's what we did actually. This is the animation class, you remember? Animation, extend frame, and we have the set size, we have the set visible, and now we created the uh, thread, and we pass a pointer. Now, we don't need to pass a pointer. We don't need to pass a pointer. All what we need, you know, remove this at the end, put it here at the end, and make this move, a thread inside inside the sorry inside the animation class in that way we don't need the pointer we don't need the constructor we remove this guy here and we remove the pointer so we can have access directly to X and have access directly to repaint okay uh, now the timer class now this is one way of doing a thread or we remember uh, where we draw the thread here or we can have a timer inside this guy like you know I will, I'm gonna draw as a as a as a time so we can have a timer inside the main so this is another way of uh, doing something that may take long like you know need to be steep so this is the timer uh, where's the time here's the class timer all what we need to do just implements action listener to it. Implements action listener, any class, name it any way, anything that you want, and make it implements action listener. Uh, we, we have to, uh, since we are implementing action listener, we have to implement this method. It's a must, or, or else it will not be compiled. So we can implement the action uh, perform, and we can, do whatever we want here, you know, increase the Y and repaint. But the issue here is that we need to, where's the, uh, here, where's the timer? Do we have the timer? Okay, uh, so where's the new timer? Hmm. It's not there. Anyway, we'll, we'll see it. All what we need to do, just new timer. Here we say timer, timer equal uh t sorry uh let's say uh what's uh, l timer l equal new timer 
So this is what we need to do. And we, we will pass two values to this constructor. We pass the millisecond, let's say 100 millisecond, comma, and we're gonna ma uh, pass a cr the object pointer, which is TL. So we say new TL constructor, and we close it. Uh, anyway, we're gonna sh we're gonna uh, write a program, simple program to move a let's say an object. So what we are gonna do? We're gonna do a frame and a ball that uh, hits the uh, wall of the frame and bounces back. So th this ball keeps moving with a timer and once it hits the, uh, the boundary of the frame, it bounces back. Okay, here's what we are gonna do. Uh, we're gonna open Eclipse. We're gonna close everything. Uh, are you with me, girls? Okay, is the sound clear? Okay, uh, now we're gonna create uh, where's a new project, Java project. We're gonna call it uh, project review, project review. Okay, now we're gonna have this project review and we're gonna create a class. Um, where's the class? Class, class, here we go. Class, and we're gonna call it uh, uh, our window our window okay we, we need to create the main also in it okay I'm, I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna let you participate here I'm gonna do it very quickly because we don't have much time so I want to do first the frame so it's gonna be extends J frame and I'm gonna do the import very quickly here uh, now in the constructor of the our window, we're gonna do uh, the set size, so it's gonna be public set. No, sorry, public. This is the constructor, so I'm gonna say set size. Uh, let's say 400, comma 500. Okay. Again, if we don't know the set size, how is it spelled? We need to do this dot set visible. It will show you, uh, you know, the, the, the function, how is it spelled out. So I'm gonna put set visible and I'm gonna say true. Uh, okay, now we're done with the frame. Uh, we need to create an object of type, of this type, which is, uh, let's say M equal new, sorry, what's that? Okay, M equal new, uh, new, this guy. Okay, let's run it. So we have this uh, frame here of this size. Now we need to have the ball, the ball which moves. Now let's draw the ball. Uh, one way of doing uh, draw, we can say uh, generate. Uh, let's say here, right mouse click. Uh, we go to source. We go to uh, uh, override methods. We're gonna write, overwrite what? What are we gonna override? Paint. Paint, exactly. We're gonna write, overwrite the paint, which belongs to the class window. One of the ancestors, one of the grandparents of uh, our, our window. So we're gonna, uh, you know, we, you can remove the comments because we don't have much space here. You can remove the whole thing here. And let's make it uh, easy by doing G and then we're gonna say G dot fill oval uh, let's say uh, 30 no what we're gonna do because the ball is gonna move we're gonna say X and Y and it is like 30 30 it's a circle 30 in diameter and 30 in uh, uh, vertical diameter and the horizontal diameter Okay, now we have x and y. We have to define x and y. Integer x equal, let's say, any number. And uh, integer y equal uh, also any number. Okay, now let's, uh, let's see it. Here we go. This is the uh, circle. 
Uh, now let's make it move using the timer. So one way of uh, make it move using the timer, we're gonna do class our timer TL extend no not extends implements implements action listener. So this is our timer. We're gonna do the import here, action listener. So once we did the import, it goes to indicate as an error under the class. Why? Who knows why? Yes, which function? Uh, thank you, action perform. Here we go. Add unimplemented method, which is what? The action perform. So I just click on add unimplemented methods. So uh, it comes this guy. I'm gonna remove this for the sake of space. Uh, now I'm gonna say uh, what we are gonna do. We're gonna say y equal y plus five and x equal x plus five. And we're gonna say repaint. Now we have a problem. Okay, what is a y, what is x, and what is repaint? These belong to this guy, belongs to the our window class. It, they don't belong to TL class. So what, how, how are we gonna solve it? Inner class. We take this whole thing and put it here, inner class. Now it's solved. But because it's like, you know, uh, we take this and we move it one. So we made this as an inner class. Okay? So we solve this by doing an inner class. The other way of solving it is by passing a pointer. The other way of solving it is by passing a pointer the way we did here. Uh, where is it? Here. The way we did here, we pass a pointer. We have a pointer, this guy. So we pass a pointer to the main class, or we move the whole class to make it inside the main class. Okay, so what we did, we just moved the whole thing inside the our window class. Now we have access to Y, we have access. Now, nothing will happen. We're gonna do the same thing here. Nothing happens. Why? Because we did not create TL. So where will where do you want to create the uh, the TL? Let's say at the constructor of this guy. So we say uh, TL. Uh, let's say uh, A equal new TL. No, sorry. Uh, timer. Timer A equal new timer and we we want to put like let's say 100 milliseconds and a new TL that's all what you need now pay attention this is one of the problems that we we always fill in we always fail, uh, fall in which is here it says import timer which timer do you want to import the first one the second one or the third one so we're gonna import the first one now the problem is gone. Now let's say we did not import the first one. I'm gonna do control Z, which is undo. So I'm gonna do undo. Now we came back. Let's say I wanna import uh, the, the second one. So when we import the second one, it says there is no constructor that takes two arguments. There's no constructor that takes two arguments. Okay, let's try the th importing the third one. So uh, I'm gonna say import timer java management dot timer. So it will tell you again, there is no constructor that takes two arguments. So this is, uh, in order to solve it, we import the right timer, which is the swing, java x dot swing. Now, once we import the java x dot swing, the, uh, the problem is solved. Now, every 100 millisecond, Every hundred millisecond, the action performed will be called. Every hundred millisecond, the action performed will be called. And what it's gonna do? It's gonna increase the y. It's gonna increase the x, and it's gonna repaint. Now I have two problems here. 
Who can tell me that's what's what's gonna appear? How how is the bones gonna move? It's gonna move diagonally. It's gonna move diagonally here, this way. It's gonna move that way. However, it it keeps drawing. It keeps drawing. <coughs> it doesn't erase the old uh, ball. Okay. So let's try it. Oh, it's not working. Oh, why is not working? Huh? Thank you. A dot start. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's run. How can we clear it? Clear all inside paint. Thank you. Where is the paint here? We say clear. G. No, not this one. Where is the paint? Hey, here you go. G dot clear all clear rectangle. 0, 0, uh, 400, 500. So we're going to clear the whole thing. And we're going to say stop. Okay? This is, this is the uh, animation. Now, let's work on uh, making it bounce. Okay? In order for it to be, to be bounced, here we're... Uh, uh, here you go. In order to make it bounce, if I want to move it to this direction, uh, what do I need to do with X and Y? X, I'm gonna increase, right? And Y, I'm gonna increase, right? Now, if I wanna mo make it move that direction, what do I need to do? X is gonna be decreased, and Y? Increase, thank you, thank you. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say who said it because I don't want your names to show up in the video. Anyway, uh, so x is going to be decreased and y is going to be in, in top. Okay, now assume that I'm hitting here, so I want to I wanna, uh, make it to go up this direction. So I'm going to make x is what? Increase. Increase. And y? Increase. Decrease. Excellent. This is what we're going to do. So in order to do that, Let's do. Sir? Yes. I'm leaving. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hamida. So, in order to that to do that, uh, let's do increments. Let's do increments for x and y. So we're gonna say x increment equal, let's say, plus three. Okay. And integer y increment equal uh, also plus three. Now, sorry for that. Now, if it is plus three, plus three, then instead of doing plus, you know, five, I'm gonna say plus x increment, and here y increment. Now, excellent. We did not do anything so far. The ball is gonna move. It's gonna keep on moving. Uh, it's gonna keep on moving, and it won't do anything after it hits. So after it hits, I wanna change the x increment or y increment to be the opposite direction. So what do I need to do? In read in paint, in paint, I'm gonna say check. I'm gonna call a check application uh, function. What's check application? It is void. It's we don't need to make it public. It's void check. Here I say if x is greater than what? Zero. How much? Zero. No, uh, the 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 frame the frame is uh, four hundred and five hundred. So this is five hundred. This is four hundred. So I want to x when it is bigger than x. X is this x. Yes, 400, thank you. Probably I heard you saying 500. Okay, if x is greater than 400, let's not make it 400 because uh, the diameter is 30. So half of 30 is 15. So let's say it's 400 minus 15, okay? If it is x is greater than 400 minus 15, or, 
or x is smaller than 15. So what do we do? We say x increment equal minus x increment. So flip, flip the uh, sign. The same thing for y. So we say copy, insert. So if y is greater than, let's say, 500, or y is less than 15, let's make it uh, because, because the frame has uh, the title bar. So I'm going to do uh, 35, because it has a title bar at the top. So I'm going to say y increment is equal to y increment. OK, let's, that's all. That's all. OK, let's, uh, let's make it uh, faster. So in order to make it faster, we need to change this 100 millisecond to 30 millisecond. The timer, 30 millisecond. OK, run. Here we go. Oops, why it didn't go? Why? Who can tell me? Who can tell me why? Is y equal y plus y x increment? راحت عليكم الخمس سنوات. إيش مفروض أسوي؟ y increment. y x equal x plus x increment. الله يهديني وياكم يا رب. طيب. تمام؟ بس حرف. المشكلة الحرف. طيب. This is this is the application. Now 